everyone and welcome back to Cedar Point. My name is Jim from WildGravityTravels.com and we are looking at Steel Vengeance. The track work was actually completed shortly after we posted our last update. A um, couple days later, a few days later actually, I believe it was Sunday or Monday. Um, but this is the first day we've made it back. Um, they shared, Cedar Point shared updates and we shared those with you uh, on our social pages. However, now we're seeing, um, we're going to see some other, you know, smaller progresses with the track work done and in place and the biggest thing that's been added of course since our last update that did complete the track work is that drop and you can see that vertical drop right there going down and hopefully once we get inside the park on this update we'll get a chance to look at the drop itself and all the track that's been put in place there hopefully those pathways are open uh, and it's still daylight enough as you can see it's a bit of an overcast day here at Cedar Point in Sandusky Ohio so coming up first, we're going to take a look at a couple different angles in addition to this one from outside the park here in the campground area. And then we will move inside of the park. So from this angle, you can see, as we talked about before, this cross track is actually where the lift hill chain return will be. And you can see they're putting some more woodwork in there, or actually storing wood in there uh, for more progress. And you can see they don't have the stairs all the way in place yet for the lift hill. And you can see some of the railing there, and that was where the track had left off before, a little bit further down. And they're going to keep making progress on things like that, like smaller stuff. And you can see some other cross beams here making kind of X's in the structure. And those are going to be probably expanded upon going all the way up as well. So again, we're going to walk around and take a look at the structure from a few more different angles before moving inside the park. Stay tuned. So we're out here on the little dock, or pier I guess would be, uh, here again, just like we were last week. Uh, it's a little less windy right now, so hopefully it's not picking up too much static feedback on that. But here we're looking at uh, Steel Vengeance again, and you can see that drop, that iconic uh, 90 degree drop there, as well as all the track work is now complete. So as we pull out, we can actually see, if you look there to the left of the frame, over this direction, we can see that first big turn right there. So obviously the drop is like right in through here. We're a little further away right now, as you can see. Uh, there's Millennium Force and Maverick on the right. But this is uh, a look, good look at the drop, just like we showed you last week. And I wanted to do this angle again because I really like this angle. And we do have a lot of nice still pictures from out here. So looking through the trees, here it is. Here's our straight on view of that drop. And I'm gonna zoom into the top here and you can see all that track work as we come down. And this is the drop from 205 feet up. The coaster is 205 feet tall there at that topped off point we showed you last week. And there you can see the drop all the way down almost. And we're gonna try to go in there again, like we did last week, to check out more details on that low to the ground track as I mentioned before. So stay tuned for that. And this is just a pretty stunning drop to look at right here from this angle. Uh, we're not straight on at it, but we're pretty close. And you can see that's pretty, it's pretty awesome looking. So next up, we'll be headed inside the park to check out the track inside on the lower area of that first drop, uh, which that one low piece actually did happen to be the final rail they installed for the coaster. So stay tuned for that coming up next. So we're inside the park now, and we're uh, just close to the deprivation queue entrance, so you can see uh, we are still in a legal pathway area. You can see that drop right there, and it's just, it's just amazing looking there with the 90 degree drop and the top off there. And this is just an awesome angle to see of the coaster. One we may not get next year until Halloween weekends again with it running. Uh, obviously the coaster opens next season, and you can see that right in here. Really cool uh, wide shot there. You can see a couple of the inversions, the two larger, taller inversions, not larger, I guess taller inversions would be the word. Um, and then there's one over here under this brake run structure, of course, uh, that we showed you before. And then there's one under this structure over here uh, that rolls before coming out and returning this way. So lots of, uh, well, four inversions total, not lots, but four. That's a good amount for a coaster like this. 205 feet tall, vertical drop you can see right there. And coming up, coming up we're going to try to go in the 
exit area here of deprivation and take a look. So here once again we see the first drop. This is the drop here and the track that they put in to complete the circuit is right over here. It's in the middle actually through this fence. It's going to be kind of hard to make out and that goes up into that turn. So that is the final piece of the puzzle of the track has gone in and we can see that all throughout there. That's just a beautiful drop and there's the angle coming down. So that will just about wrap us up here from Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. My name is Jim from WildGravityTravels.com. For more, check us out on our website where there will be a full post uh, with lots of still pictures from all around and you can check out our previous posts as they were building the coaster on the construction update. Also check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for any additional updates. With track work being complete, this will likely be our last update until next May when we see the coaster open for the first time. Maybe we'll share an update uh, when it starts testing if we're allowed to capture video of that in the off season. So we'll definitely be bringing any updates to you via our social accounts first and then in a full post later. So stay tuned for that and have a great weekend and hot season ahead.